What is going on, you guys? It is Mira, it is Shiva, it is Beaver, it is Scorpion Reds Tarot, and I am back at it again, back, back at it again. We have a new series that you guys can look forward to every Monday morning. This is called the Money Manifesting Monday pick a card reading yes indeed for all of my babies that are just focused on getting their foundation together trying to grow their business trying to advance in their careers this is what you need this is the money manifesting monday pick a card reading and um i am scorpion reds uh welcome if you are new to my channel you know we share a lot of love and like here so thank you so much for all my ogs thank you so all my newbies shout out to everybody that's been coming through like sharing subscribing and showing love to this channel all right so before we get into the reading we always want to give thanks and acknowledgement to father god so father god we want to thank you so much for bringing us here. We want to thank you so much for allowing the frequency of financial blessing and stability to just flow naturally to us, Father God. We want to um, stay focused on saving our money. We want to uh, focus on uh, investing our money to uh, grow, you know. You reap what you sow, so we want to sow royal seeds, Father God. We want to have an abundant overflow of cornucopia, okay. So, Father God, thank you so much for all the love and the guidance and the protection um, that you've given us please give each and every person the message that they need to receive today in Jesus name amen amen and amen all right all right so let's get into this message you guys we have four different groups here um, we have some stickers and we have bracelets so I don't know what it is that may attract you to your selected pal but um, uh, if y'all checked out the thumbnail, you see the thumbnail, but we're going to go through each group. So if you picked this bracelet and this sticker, this is group number one. So if you pick this bracelet and this sticker, this is group number two. My birds are so loud in the back, y'all. Excuse me. If you pick this bracelet and this sticker, this is group number three. And if you have picked this bracelet and this sticker, this is group number four. So I'm going to let you guys take a second and get your thoughts together. We don't get group one up here. And you know what I always say, baby, we are reloaded. Okay. So let's get into this energy. So group number one, pound number one, your story has just begun. Let's find out what's going on with you on this money manifesting Monday. So your uh, sensor energy right here, it says sensitivity. We have sensitivity. All right. Let's see our hustler cards. We got a new ride, an upgrade. Okay, you better get you a new vehicle. It's giving me the chariot card, okay? So you like emotionally sure about where you're going and what you're doing. Okay, I'm just an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit, okay? Don't play with them group number one, okay? Stop overspending. Hold up now. Hold up. Maybe you might need to, uh, <laughs> all right, maybe that this is a warning. Maybe your finances is a little sensitive right now. Maybe you was going to purchase and get you a new ride. But, you know, God is telling you maybe not get the most expensive car. Just keep it within your budget. Go ahead and get that new ride. But it's something about your finances right now is sensitive in nature. So, yeah, go ahead and upgrade yourself. But just keep it within budget, okay? We have spirituality. You already see the cards right there. So we know that your faith is heavily influenced with your finances right now. So we got activation. Spirit okay. I like that. And you got the five of pentacles in the reverse. Stop playing with group number goddamn one. All right. Shit. You got the lovers in the reverse, and then you got the seven of spades. So the seven of spades is a caution card. And especially when it comes to you guys making this purchase right here, 
maybe you guys came to this reading because you were not sure about a big purchase that you guys were about to invest in. It's something in your gut was telling you, I don't know. Think about it. Don't do it. Something in your gut told you something is not right. Uh, with this five of pentacles in the reverse, you guys may have just came into some money um, coming out of debt. Your finances are finally like fluctuating in an uprise. You know, it's tax season, so you might have just got like maybe five thousand dollars, five, six thousand dollars or whatever. Lump some into your um, safety deposit box into your, your, your savings. Don't spend it all on this car. Like, don't do it. Because I feel like maybe you guys are looking for a new, to purchase a new vehicle because you do, you need stability. Someone needs a stable means of transportation. Like, seriously. Um, and especially where I'm getting like this chariot energy here. Um, I feel like it will make you feel more confident, more self uh, assured about yourself. Like your self-esteem will go up a level if you knew you did not have to rely on other people and you had the safety and security of your own car. However, something about you having the temptation to overspend because even the... Um, seven of uh spades this is a card of like misfortune that you don't see coming um this is even talking about like people's addictions and the way of you might be partying too much you may be going out to nightclub like just like being in saloons like strip clubs and um overspending in boutiques just like being overcome by, temp by the temptations of life so much that you're not paying attention to the dangers that you could possibly be putting yourself in, financially speaking. So you might have been spending your money going out partying, going to nightclubs, like I said, going to strip clubs. Because, you know, people, they don't go to nightclubs no more. They go hang out at the strip club. That's like the new nightclub. Maybe you might have been over friendly, tipping too much, doing whatever. And then something comes up that's unexpected and you don't have the money that you thought you had because you've been out enjoying yourself too much. Because your money is good now. You know, you're like, you're not in any type of financial struggle or disarray. Like, you're good. Like, you're real good. I mean, but you're just at the five of pentacles. So you're just coming out of like a financial rut. So it's, you're not at the six of pentacles where you have enough money where you can help someone that's in the five of pentacles upright situation. That's in like financial ruin and destitute, you know, that needs assistance, you know. Like this is somebody that don't need government assistance anymore, any of that stuff like that. You don't need no food stamps, you don't need nothing, you good. However, I feel like there's not a strong connection there's not a strong connection to because this is this is this has something to do with someone uh, purchasing something that's going to help them with their day to day stability. But I feel like with this new upgrade, like you're not 100 percent sold on it, like you're not thrilled on it, like whatever vehicle or whatever this is that you're trying to be convinced into um, taking out this loan or, or, or whatever because I feel like you will end up taking a lot of money out of your savings as a down payment or something and this vehicle is maybe in a couple of years or some months down the line you gonna see another car and it's like damn I should have waited because I'd have preferred to get that or maybe the vehicle is just not in as good working conditions as you thought it was and y'all don't get tricked and think that oh because you um, purchase something off of a um, off of a lot off of a dealership lot because I've purchased a truck from Nissan I purchased a new a used Nissan Rogue from Nissan and my transmission went out in 11 months you're not telling me that I burnt a transmission out in 11 months no way so it may be like a dressed up lemon, even though you got it from the dealership. 
like months later like you may realize like this isn't what I wanted or this vehicle has problems or like I said it could be a financial pit hole remember it's something that you don't see coming that you wasn't expecting like this is a tower moment but this is something that could possibly hit you bad financially when you're realizing like this is not what I thought it was going to be I don't really like this it sounds good in the beginning but like now I really don't I want to sell this I want to get rid of this I don't you know it's like I should have listened to my I should have listened to my gut so group one pay attention to the intuitive nudges because they're saying like you're very sensitive right now on a spiritual basis I feel like you're probably not paying attention to just how highly in tune that you are but it's like spirit be tapping you on your shoulder like ah 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 don't do that think about it look around first look at your other options okay so let me read these cards it's a spirituality use money magic spells to increase wealth and prosperity spiritual advisor healer tarot reader or anything in the occult you're being guided to discover your own unique spiritual path right now. You guys, I mean, I'm giving you guidance right now as we speak, but you guys are a little bit more in tuned than you think you are. I just feel like you don't believe the messages that you're getting and you guys come to tarot or, you know, you go, you guys go ask around or you ask God to give me a sign. So I know that this is real. I know that um, I'm not tripping. So like this may be, especially if you guys are about to buy, it's tax season. You know how many people are probably about to go sink their whole tax check into putting a down payment for a car? I'm I'm telling you from a personal experience, I did this back, when I do this in 2000, I want to say it was probably like 2022. Yeah, 2022. No, 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 no. 2021. Because I had to buy me another vehicle in 2022. The one that I got sitting out there right now. That I'm paying. I don't even want to tell you. But you, I don't even want to tell you how much money I'm paying for this damn vehicle. But I love what I have now. I thought me going to the dealership. Paying cash. Because I didn't want to know. I thought that. And I emptied my whole savings out. And the transmission fell in 11 months and I got this thing from the dealer y'all mm. so group one I feel like you are mm, and then look at your stickers as well look at your sticker as well do your research do your research on anything that you do Anything that you're about to invest in, anything that you're about to spend your money on, because I feel like your financial structure right now is very sensitive. And any misstep can cause a misfortune that you really don't see coming. Because it may be something coming up the pipe that you're going to need this money for. And as long as you do right by your money, like money is like an energy. Do you understand? If you disrespect, if you don't respect your money, and that is something that I have struggled with, that I am trying my best still to this day. Still to this day, okay? I have to respect my money because, some, you know, my mother always used to tell me, group one, especially at tax time, don't spend that money before you get it. Y'all, I'd have been uh, made plans to spend 75% of that damn tax check before it even uh, hit my goddamn pockets. And then, well, I would get my tax check in February, baby, by March 15th. That bitch gone. <laughs> and damn sure I ain't had no tax money in April. <laughs> what? Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? You want to be one of those type of people where... You could file your taxes and be late every year in April or whatever at the need to file extension because you're not pressed for the money. Because you know how to make wise investments and you know how to respect your money and not overspend your money. Like, your money is precious, it's valuable. The more you keep touching it, the more it depreciates and the more it loses its value. You know? Only. 
invest your coin in something that is well worth the investment and it's going to make you money back. So, because you don't, I, it's something in my, in my soul telling me you won't buy this vehicle and you won't end up spending all your money getting repairs and shit done and it's not, it's, it's, it's just not what you thought it was. So listen to that spiritual activation. I didn't read this card. My bad, you guys. It says you're activating your soul purpose and receiving gifts. Awaken your soul and tap into your ancestral mem memory and inner wisdom. Focusing too much on the material world instead of the spiritual world. I just heard the haves and the have-nots. Don't go broke trying to keep up with the Joneses. Buy something that you can afford. Buy something that is safe. That's why I bought me a Subaru. It might not be the cutest thing, but I'm trying to tell you, huh? Especially if you want them type of people to always be crashing up your shit because you be missing them blind spots and you ain't seen them causes. Get you a Subaru. Get you something safe. Get you something that's affordable. Get you something that got some good gas. My listen, listen to your spirit, honey. Listen to your spirit. <laughs> Their finances is sensitive right now. You just got, you just got these coins. You just got out of financial disarray. So you understand? Do not disrupt your blessings. Okay? Do not do it trying to be cute. Listen. Okay, you could be cute on a budget. Okay? The hell? Look, why everybody going broke every month paying $600 for a damn car note? You can have a $400 car note and your shit about to be paid off in three years. And you, look, come on now. And you ain't even spent all your damn savings um, on your down payment. You still got like three, like $3,500 in the bank. Shorty, what you drank? Okay? And I'm still going out fucking up the club. All right? Hanging with the thugs. Okay, don't be hanging with the thugs. But you know what I'm <laughs> Listen, y'all. Stop overspending. Go ahead and upgrade. But, you know, don't be doing too much trying to upstage. Hello, bars. <laughs> I am reloaded. Boom. Let's get into it. Group number two. What it do? It's about you. Okay. Let's get into this. If you have picked this sticker and this beautiful, beautiful bracelet right here. This beautiful, beautiful, pretty wings, y'all. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Not pretty wings. <laughs> Come on, Maxwell. Pretty wings. <laughs> okay, flowers. All right. What is that? Be? What is that? Botany? Is, is that right? I hope I said that right. Is that right? Is that mess with flowers and stuff? Listen, y'all. Don't, don't listen. Don't listen. Don't do me today, y'all. Don't do me like you knew me. Don't you do me like you knew me? <laughs> what you got? Motivator and leader. Come on now. You better spark some change in the flower industry. All right? All right? <laughs> well, I feel like you a whistleblower. <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers ain't doing shit, right? Y'all fucking shit up. You know, back in my day, we used to get paid all of this money. Well, I feel like this like one of them old school video vixens mad at these new Instagram hoes and shit like that. Talking about how they fucked up the image. You know how much money I used to get past but yeah, Bitch. Okay? I do all this shit free. Bitch, I used to get $5,000 just to walk out my door and then still ask for more. Well, y'all bitches is fucking up the industry. Alright? Okay? No, maybe I have to keep calling out. Don't make me say some motherfucking names, bitch. Because y'all gonna give me my motherfucking flowers. Do you know I'm an OG in this shit? Do you know I'm the original digital? Okay, bitch? I'm the original digital down low, bitch. You feel me? Oh, y'all hoes gonna give me my flowers. Hold on, who is this? Hold on. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my... Hold on. Why I feel like this is the original love potion number nine? Is it, is it, is it uh, love potion number nine? Why, why, why I feel like you are the original potion? All right? You the original bitch who put shit in motion. Come on, number two. What it do? All right? You said I'm fucking feeling my smell. Bitch, do you smell me? Because you can't tell me shit. Do you smell me? Okay? Because you can't tell me shit. Yo, come on, boys. 
bars, cause <laughs> group number two ain't nothing but stars. Come on now. Group number two say y'all hoes gonna give me my motherfucking flowers. For hours and hours, I can sit here and listen to y'all talk and give me my good graces. For hours and hours and hours. Y'all gonna put some respect on my name. And I got shit the motherfucker say. All right, come on with that leader energy. So, hold on, hold on. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Hove. H to the O B. I used to move snowflakes by the O Z. And even back then, you would call me. Bitch, the fuck? Why y'all got me so amped up? I feel like group two, y'all are ready to get shit started. I feel like, are y'all, y'all, why are y'all giving me, why I heard Jackie join a curse? Isn't like she speed running stuff? And she, she like, she be running? I feel like 2024, y'all took off running. Like, y'all are not playing this whole year. This whole year, y'all are not playing. I feel like anybody that is not with this shit, like you calling them out. If you fraud, if you pussy, bitch, if you push me. Ha! Bars! Hold on, y'all gonna stop playing with me. We're gonna write this back. <laughs> karma come on now I am debt free what you know about me <laughs> what you know what you know about me baby I don't owe none of y'all shit I don't owe none of y'all shit I'm calling shit out mm -mm, mm -mm. my common debt has been paid uh honey the bullshit is just going to be slayed because I don't got time to be fucking with y'all I really don't. I only got time for go-getters. Okay? I only got time for go-getters. This group, I don't have... I feel like I'm just channeling this... Are we doing a morning prep talk? You know, like sometimes where you work in certain companies, certain businesses, how you have to get your group together and do your morning team huddle with some burnt toast and Folgers coffee. Okay? Is it Folgers in your cup? No, bitch, it's Hennessy. Okay, don't play with me this morning. Yes, it's Hennessy in my motherfucking coffee, bitch. Shut your mouth. And listen, okay? I ain't got no time for no bullshitters and quitters on my motherfucking cop. All right? If you coming in this motherfucker and you showing up on time, bitch, you, you showing up on time, you 15 minutes late. You showing up on early, you on time. 15 minutes early, you on time. All right? We on grind mode. All right, this is winter season. And if you're going to be around me, I need y'all to listen, learn, because we're going to motivate and we're going to move up, okay? If you ain't ready to listen, learn, and be motivated and moved up, I need y'all to let me know right now so y'all can get the fuck from around me because I got too many people out here that's really trying to make it. We got too many people out here that's really, really trying to make it. This is the motivational talk that you're giving to your people, you guys. Well, I feel like I'm at a group huddle because I feel like you guys are looking at everybody around y'all. Everybody involved in figuring out who the fuck I can get rid of, bitch. Do you understand? Because I don't owe shit to you, 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 and you no more. So what's your purpose now? What's your purpose? Hmm? You here to do that? What can you do? Because all of that shit we used to get into and we used to do all that shit and all of that responsibility and loyalty and obligation that I felt that I had to help you because you're my cousin and I let you come and work with me and my business and shit, but you be showing up late, bitch. You be stealing shit on the low. You think I noticed that my products is missing? Yes, bitch, you. You're fired. I don't need you no more. You can go tell your mother, anybody, I don't give a fucking, 
I don't give a shit. And y'all ain't got to worry about seeing me this Christmas because I'm going to motherfucking somewhere else. Okay, bitch? I ain't got time to be fucking playing with y'all. I ain't got time to do it. But protect your money. I did not even see this, y'all. Listen to me. I feel like y'all got some leeches and liars and false suppliers around y'all. That shit that they trying to supply you with, baby, it ain't even real. Why well, I feel like somebody trying to, like upsell you on some fake merchandise and shit like they like but i feel like someone's trying to sell you like some fake pocketbook like that shit is not even real or it's stolen well i feel like it's a lot of people <gasps> y'all got the ace of sports I, yeah, let me look at these fucking cards because i'm just channeling and i'm going off and i did not even look and see what the fuck is in this deck y'all I feel like y'all are serving people with the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And why is my messages going off like this in the name of Jesus? Father God. Child, listen. And the, do you see how that crown is up there? I feel like y'all's crown chakra is activate y'all crown and y'all root chakra is activated like a motherfucker this group right here and then for this to be your bracelet that is very much throat chakra y'all are speaking the truth you don't care about what the fuck people are saying about you or what people are saying around you because guess what you ain't the king and you sure ain't the queen okay I run the shots around here. I'm the boss. And it's about business. It's about business. I'm going to say it one more time. It's about business. I'm not here to be your friend. I'm not here to be fake, fraudulent, or sell you no fallacies. Let me let you know something. Whatever it is that I owe to you or you think that... Um, <laughs> This under un, unspoken law or rule that I always gotta protect you, I always gotta be there for you. That's that's lies. That's lies. My business is everything to me. Everything to me. I don't want anybody around me that's trying to take advantage of me and don't appreciate what it is that I bring to the table and what I'm providing for you. If you think that you're going to come around here, number one, don't think that I don't hear the gossip and the shit that y'all talk about me, the jealousy and all of this. Listen, I'm cool on that. That's cool. The confirmation. I'm cool on that. Because you got to have something to be somebody for someone to have you in their mouth, period. A lot of y'all bitches ain't got shit to be spoken about to begin with. So when you're doing something marvelous, motherfuckers gon' hate on you. But one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get y'all hoes to fuck up out my pocket. <laughs> I'm going to get y'all to fuck up out my pocket. And you ain't got to respect me, bitch. But you can't check me, bitch. All right? <laughs> y'all is calling somebody the fuck out. And y'all, I swear to God, when y'all get these people this tongue lashing and y'all cut, y'all say, y'all getting people up out your pocket. And I feel like, it, and then you got the king of fucking spades. That's why I'm going off like this because the king of spades, man. This is like the law. Laying down the law. I do not care about what no one has to say. This is law. I do feel like with this group, you are a very powerful person. I feel like life has blessed you because you believe in yourself and you try to pull people up with you. But everybody don't deserve to be in your space, baby. It's time to get some motherfuckers up out your pocket so you can really go out there and smell these flowers. And I'm trying to talk about being in a circle of winners. 
When you pull up, you're pulling into a flower garden. Before you walk into their door, you take time to appreciate. Okay? What they say? You reap what you sow. Oh, I'm only around people that sow blessings, prosperity, happiness, and joy. I don't need nobody around me that you ain't even rightfully trying to sow nothing from yourself. You trying to take from me. You trying to live up off me. And you so stupid. That when you around me with all this game, all this leadership, all this motivation that I've been giving around, you ain't even smart enough to motherfucking learn. Why y'all think this card is here? Protect your money. And sometimes when it comes down to your money, your peace, and your investment, everything that you worked for, because baby... How many times do I need to show you that I am the motherfucking king or I am the queen? Look at how many times your status has shown up in these cards. Huh. I don't think people know who the fuck they playing with. See, one thing about the queen of cups, we're loving we're nurturing. We are naturally givers. And people take that shit for granted. They take your kind heart and your giving hand for granted. Alright? But I'm still Queen Mother. I'm still Queen Mother. And you can't rightfully guide your children without a firm hand. Firm hand, but a soft heart. So it's time to get them leeches up off of you so you can rightfully be able to enjoy these flowers, baby. And you can lead effectively and efficiently with people that want to be led. Because there are a lot of people that want to be just like you. When they pull up to their job or your business, your home, whatever it is that it is. These are people that are enjoying the fruits and smelling the flowers in your flower bed before they even reach your door. You are that fruitful. You are that abundant. You are that blessed. Like I said, power too is blessed. <laughs> Rightfully so. You need space so that you can really pay attention to the ones that deserve to be here. Have y'all ever worked at a job and, and, and it's just people that you work with that don't even appreciate what they have? When you know that there's people out there that, don't, that are not working that would love to be where they at and they don't even appreciate it. That would love to work under me. That would love to be in your position. Free them of this position. Free them. Free them. Your debt is paid. Let me read these cards and let's get it out of here. It says, working with flowers and opening your heart and bringing blessings to others through your life purpose. I know I ain't read that right, but that wasn't the whole purpose of the damn. Look, y'all heard what I said about this. You want your flowers. You want your respect. <laughs> Child, y'all better stop playing with group number two. It says motivator. Motivate yourself to better finances. They need rescuing. Life coach, public speaking, activism, lobbying, or mentoring. Balance. Being kind to yourself and being your own boot camp leader. Like I said, someone was like <laughs> rallying the troops early in the morning. It was just like a, a, a team huddle conversation. And literally the only thing I could really see this person is it's like somebody is fed up. And it's just like, listen. Y'all ain't manipulate nobody but yourself. I see what you're doing. I know who the hard workers are. I know who the ones that ain't shit. 
and I know the ones that uh, don't appreciate their position. So there's two groups in the file that I just, I, I know the hard workers, I know the ones that ain't shit, and I know the ones that don't appreciate their position. It ain't that you ain't shit, but you don't think fat me is greasy. Leadership, leadership, leadership. You're stepping into a role as a leader. You're ready. Your career will improve once you accept and step into your power. See, I feel like y'all been playing friends with a lot of people. You're not a colleague with these people. You are a fucking leader. You are the boss. And if you don't make people respect you as the boss, they're going to think that they can keep playing with you while being in your pocket and doing it in your face. Child, you're following the crowd in fear of putting yourself out there. You better speak up and do what needs to be done. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. Group number two, you know what to do. You don't pay your debt off with these people. I feel like you don't help motherfuckers enough. You didn't did enough. You don't protected them enough. You didn't gave them enough opportunities. Like what 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 more you want me to do? I'm being firm with you, but I'm still speaking to you in love. I'm doing it in a very nurturing way, but I'm being very firm with what I'm saying. I'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing. Ever you gonna get with it to get gone, cause you're not gonna waste my time. That's just <laughs> listen to kid. <laughs> we'll send your ass right to jail. We'll send your ass right the fuck to jail. Listen, have y'all ever seen someone come up in the courtroom with an attitude and everything? Get him out of here. What? Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Child, I need me something to drink. I ain't even got nothing to drink right here. Child, let's get it to group number three. Group number three, would it be? Group number three, what it be? It's about you, boo. If you have picked this group right here, we all up in your tea. We all up in your business. Ooh, y'all. I'm going to wait till the end of this reading. I got me so many new decks. I'm about to roll out like two or three new series. But baby, mm, mm, mm. Why I feel like number three is some work hard individuals. Why I feel like y'all constantly contemplating and planning something. Like y'all are some planning individuals. <laughs> y'all are contemplating on something. It's like you're very in tune with yourself. And um, I want to say like putting yourself out there in a positive way. Like I feel like you're like a ray of sunshine. I feel like this group is very proud of itself too. My eyes just went to the word podcast and political. So I don't know if you guys are like stepping into like a new zone where it's like um, the elections are coming up. I want people to start talking about voting. I want them to see their uh, the importance of their voice and their vote even these young kids little 18 year olds like that's your target um demographic um i feel like politics is very important to this group and may need to go to school to study political science um looking into being a lobbyist hmm that was a good little moment of channeling. Shoot, I didn't do that with any of the other cards. Let's get into number three. Group three. Look, you're on the right path. Group number three, you're on the right path. You got options. And then you got laborer. So you guys are going to be putting in a lot of work. A lot of work, a lot of long hours, a lot of research, a lot of hands-on. Either physical work or studying. More than one door of opportunity is being open to you. 
And I feel like you're going to reach every one of them and you're going to like assess its importance and what it could bring to you in your life. But I don't see you walking through all of them. This is someone who has gone through that seven of cups experience where like you had all of these options and you thought all of them were good options until you really got close to them and you realized, nah, I might not want to touch that. So this is a smart group right here. I feel like there's a lot of doors that you're going to be walking right past on your way going to your destination. Like there's a lot of open doors and there's a lot of, uh, well, I'm seeing temptation. Well, I see, I see it. It's like you're walking and you're going on your path and these, all these people open up these doors. Like, come on in, come on in. You know, like, um, have you ever been in a food court and people like trying to tempt you with, um, samples and stuff like that? It's like all of these people trying to like lure you in to all of these other circumstances and opportunities but I feel like you are like straight on your pathway like you know exactly your destiny and where you're going like you are not confused at all it's, and I just heard I, I, I've had those options offered to me already like I've had those already <laughs> like okay now I'm seeing someone in the food court and it's like every fucking stall everybody's offering bourbon chicken on a toothpick it's like I had that at the first stall like it, you're not about to your bourbon chicken can't be no better than the first one I don't want bourbon chicken like this is someone that knows exactly what they want and they worked hard to get to it you're on the right path group number three let's see what else it says be smart with your money and afraid of change. Mm -hmm. So this might be some fixed sign energy. You know my fixed signs is Leos, Aquarius, Taurus, and Scorpios. And I am a Scorpio, so I definitely um, can resonate with this. I'm a type of person that I'm reluctant to change, but I will do it. But once I change, I'm never going back again. There's no way. Do you? That's why I said like you're in a food court and everybody is offering the same dish, but I've already had that. I don't know if your palate has changed, your taste, your level of talent. Maybe you've gone to the next level, to the next stage, and it's like, well, I can't stay here anymore. I got to keep going. Like, it's boring. Like, have you ever mastered a game level? And it's like you beat this twice already. And you're like, why would I sit here and keep playing the same game? Ever I'm about to buy the new game. It's like I need a new challenge or something like that. I feel like someone's bored. And you definitely already put a whole bunch of hard work in. I just heard it, 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 it may be painstaking to leave something behind, but I feel like you don't like that shit anymore. It's like you don't like it anymore. It's disgusting to me now. But I'm going to put it to you like this. Okay. I went through this phase where I was like trying to stop eating meat, right? Because my body was trying to tell me that it didn't want to eat meat anymore for whatever reason. So I said, let me listen to my body. But I had no idea the healthy way to like convert over into that lifestyle, right? So every time I would go out and purchase some food or whatever, like I'm totally like I can go to a fast food place and just eat like french fries and... um like a lemonade or something or like a, 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 a baked potato or whatever anything with potatoes and like broccoli and vegetables or sauteed vegetables like I'm cool you know but for some reason my mind kept telling me that I had to order the meat even though my body kept telling me that I didn't want it anymore so I kept buying the burger even though I was literally just fine with the fries in the milkshake or the fries in the cola or the fries in my iced tea because I would buy 
the full meal with the burger and I would waste it anyway. And then I'm sitting up here trying to find somebody that wants to eat a damn cheeseburger. And the next thing I know, I got a whole refrigerator full of fast food meat that I don't want to eat when the only thing I really want was the fries and a drink. It's like... Your mind is telling you to stop doing something, but it's like your body is just used to you doing it or used to you subjecting yourself to something and it feels so normal to you. But now your body is starting to resist the shit. Like, I don't want to be here anymore. I don't like this anymore. Now your body is starting to be resistant to it. So if this has anything to do with people, Especially friends, colleagues, work, people, anything like that. If you're noticing that you're physically getting sick of them, that's what I'm talking about. Be smart with your money and be smart with your energy too. Because you having the right amount of energy helps you get to the money. And I feel like all of these options is not because they offering you the same shit. I don't even think that you're interested in this shit anymore. Like your palate has changed. It's like how many more fucking beef hamburgers am I going to eat? There's somebody out there that got better french fries than McDonald's. Try five guys. Cook it in peanut oil. Like come on. And can get a bag of free peanuts before you leave out that motherfucker. Come on now. Like there's better options. Don't be scared to reject something that your body is clearly telling you that it, it, it's, it's trying to get rid of. We got the Ten of Wands and the Six of Cups and the Little Joker. Oh ye of little faith. Baby, that faith done took you a long motherfucking way, hasn't you? You have carried some shit on your back for as long as I remember. And I feel like you've been doing some shit by yourself. Like I said, you're a hard worker. You're a dedicated worker. And it's like you're determined to do something on your own. Because I just heard, because ain't nobody going to leave you on the wayside. Well, I feel like people have left you lonely before. Like, people, or maybe that's how you got in this position. It's like, you was not, you was not supposed to do something on your own. But someone left you to do it. So, I'm going to finish it. And I'm going to do it by myself. I'm not going to do it with no attitude. I'm going to do it humbly. I'm not going to complain. But this is the what the Ten of Wands. Baby, you're at the finish line. I know you might be tired and worn out a little bit. But baby, you're safely home now. Ain't nothing after that but the Ace of Wands. New beginnings. Strong foundation. Happiness. Joy. Movement. Travel. Victory. That I, feel, I feel like you guys did something all on your own. I feel like this journey that you went through. You went through your bumps and bruises. But you did it to learn what was right for you and what wasn't. I feel like in this group y'all try to carry people with you. But you realize, nah, I need to do this by myself. Something was meant to happen that way. It made you stronger. This new chapter, yeah, because this group right here, something is ended for you. If you guys went through like a long period, and I'm seeing foundations. If you guys have, I'm seeing the number four. Number four means foundations, hard work order, being reliable, predictability, problem solving, management. 
So I feel like you guys have gone through, I want to say like a couple of years of your life where things have been, um, I want to say a struggle. But you did everything and you kept everything balanced. And even if you did have bumps and bruises, they were well hidden. Like nobody knew about it because you still got your ass up and go to work and you kept going. And bumps and bruises, I mean mistakes. Like if you made any type of mistakes or anything. So say, like you know, you know how people, they um, may have certain things going on in their personal life that could be tumultuous. But they still get up and go to work. No, They, they could have been up all night to 3 o'clock in the morning fussing and arguing with somebody. Putting the motherfucker out of their house. Closing that door. Keeping it moving. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I don't need you. I'll do everything by myself so there's another stick on your back. Because now you just... No one knows. No one knew what you went through in your personal life. You spared everybody the details. Because you came to work and you kicked ass. And you smiled. And you found happiness in your day. You ain't let nothing fucking beat you. You just kept moving to the next open door. <laughs> like y'all some powerful motherfuckers right there. You, you, you're that type of energy that people need to be scared of you. Because you don't let nothing beat you. I do this shit by my lonesome. Oh, you have little faith. There's always other options. <laughs> What happened in your past? What happened? So what? Y'all don't want to be my friends no more. That's cool. My family don't want to talk to me no more. That's cool. Because y'all be acting stupid. And I don't like being around you. Because you be pulling on my energy in a negative way. And y'all be triggering me. with like this, like this group right here. I feel like y'all walk right past and step right over a lot of distraction. Anything that could distract you along your journey. Anything that could take your happiness away. Anything. If I got to do everything by myself just to not see y'all motherfuckers again. This is the, the six of cups right here. This is anything that represents any level of unhappiness. Anybody. Anything that would suck away joy. Anything that didn't appreciate their presence and the gift because these are people that take advantage of you that are not pure hearted that it's not mutual this is childhood trauma these are friends that are not your friends this is family that don't act like blood this is all of that shit this is the pow that they don't carry that shit with them they see people and they see situations for what it is. And, you know, I guess maybe it could be looked at like group three has a little childhood trauma issues because they're so independent. And you can tell that they've gone through things in their past. And that's what makes them determined to be like, I do that shit on my own before I sit there and... Um, Reduce myself to this bullshit. And nah, I'm good. You remind me of my mother. You remind me of, of nah, my, my cousin that be using niggas. All. That's why I stopped hanging around this bitch. Because she gonna fuck around and get somebody killed. Oh, it, no. I ain't got time for this shit. No. The Six of Cups in the reverse are emotional manipulators. And again, what you put out. You would never get back. These are people that see the hard worker in you. 
that see the determination in you, that see and they know you might not have it right now because this is a group that I feel like you might not have the financial blessings that you want right now. Oh, but baby, when that's it, oh, oh yeah, little faith. <laughs> and don't forget, the Ten of Wands mean, baby, you right up on the doorstep. You done been on a long motherfucking journey. And bitch, I'm tired. But don't you stop. You were right on the doorstep of victory of every fucking thing. All of these sacrifice, every, every time you said, man, fuck them niggas, I'm going to keep going. Fuck them niggas, I'm going to keep going. You don't, want, you don't want me? Okay, fine. You don't want to help me? Okay, fine. Yeah, because you wasn't supposed to do this shit by yourself. This is somebody that's gonna get to victory, but it's not it's not gonna be by means of you take because this this is someone I feel like at first you try to take the burden of taking people with you. You over that. Why would I take people with me that don't wanna put in just as much work as me? And you see I'm carrying everything on my back and you wanna come up off of my blessings. And then later on. Show me just why I shouldn't have given you shit to begin with. Why I shouldn't have trusted you. Why I should? Why? Cause we family. Why? Cause I've known you since my childhood. Why? Cause you've been my boyfriend since high school. Why? Why? What? No. No. This is when things is not mutual. So if group. Number three, if you felt like along your path that you felt by yourself, I feel like this is somebody that needs a pick me up because I feel like this is someone that feels like they've been alone and it, it, like they might not have nobody to share their blessings with because. Every time they turn around, it's like someone trying to take advantage of them. The, the Six of Cups is, is where you pour your heart and you give to the people that you really care for and, and you regret it because these people don't give a fuck about you. They wouldn't do the same for you. Listen to your body. Your body don't fuck with these people no more. If you notice when you're around. It's okay. It's okay. There's certain blessings that God is not going to give to you when you're around these people. And I promise you. The more and more this makes sense, the more and more, like I said, remember these people trying to lure you in. Oh, come, don't you want to come over my house this weekend? Like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Ain't going to walk right past him. Why? I don't want motherfucking bourbon chicken. Y'all always eating bourbon chicken. I don't fucking, but bitch, if I see another bourbon chicken, say No. So y'all, I just want y'all to um, know that you're on the bright path. Keep doing what you're doing because it's working. It's afforded you many new opportunities. You will be very, 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 very blessed. But the blessings you you're going to receive them when you're by yourself. Once you're by yourself. And you have it. The right people that really appreciate to you, that won't take from you, they'll gravitate to you. They're going to spend their money on you. They're going to throw that appreciation on you. You ain't got to ask for it. You ain't got to think about it. You ain't even got to earn it. You understand what I'm saying? You ain't even got to do nothing to earn it. Because it was rightfully yours, it's rightfully yours. Protect yourself. Options. 
many opportunities are becoming available to you. Take advantage of every opportunity. Let curiosity awaken your mind. Opportunities are coming and going without you without you even realizing it. And laborer, your hard work will be rewarded soon. Keep at it. Construction, maintenance, pay, uh, painter, or any kind of laborer. Don't be afraid of hard work. What lasts won't come easy. So again, like, you haven't taken any missteps. I know it may feel like you might have had a whole bunch of bumps and bruises on the way, but baby, that's building your character. That is building your leadership skills. You're right on the footsteps of all of the blessings that your hard work has paid for. You have paid your dues. And when you finally get to that doorstep, when you get to that ace of wands, you want to, like, I promise you, travel, vacation, happiness. Every time you move, you ain't going to be walking with bricks and logs on your back, baby. It's a whole totally different carriage, baby. You feel well confident in yourself. And you're going to understand why this change was so necessary. You're going to be so mature in your life and so well, well, well prepared in your blessings. You're going to look back at people doing the same shit same toilet, still eating bourbon chicken, and every time you smell bourbon chicken, that shit makes you sick to your stomach. You like, ugh, you eat that? You gonna be so far removed from that shit, you gonna forget that you used to actually eat this shit. You feel me? Group number three, you know what it be. Let's get into this. Come on. One love, one heart. Let's get together and feel all right. Okay, come on. <laughs> come to Jamaica. Oh, baby, baby, yeah. <laughs> group four, you know we want more. Let's get into this. Well, I feel like this is my smoker and toker group. <laughs> Do y'all got a weed business? <laughs> Do y'all got a business y'all just like to sell love and happiness? I don't know. Lord. <laughs> you need a little protection <laughs> along your journey. <laughs> you just try to spread one love. Okay, come on now. Look, yoga, I just said. <laughs> oh, my God. Do y'all have a business where y'all be trying to sell peace, prosperity, and blessings and trying to help people be balanced? Sha-la-la. Come on. Hello. Sha-la-la. We just trying to, you know, help keep everybody chakra aligned. Help people believe how amazing they are. Help people believe in themselves. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Okay, come on. Look, you got home and the artist. All right, come on. You better have a um. You better have a stay at home job. You could very much so be a stay at home um yoga instructor, artist. Um, and you know, on TikTok and stuff, they have a lot of people that are TikTok famous and they make a lot of money just doing those, um, like home organization and cleaning videos and stuff like that. Like, uh, rearranging their refrigerator, like all these little, um, different compartments and stuff. And I, listen, I would love to just have those ice cubes and stuff that they'd be making. And is that what y'all do? I feel like someone does some like DIY like home econometry artisanal shit like <laughs> I don't know what y'all be making like artisanal bread artisanal ice like artisanal drinks like cocktails like mom stuff like is this what y'all be doing I feel like someone has like some stay at home like business that is like very very booming it says dust it off and try again. Yeah, this has something to do with cleaning, some type of cleaning business. I feel like you guys might have kind of 
giving up on your dreams of being like an online personality because maybe the numbers weren't numbering the way that you thought that they should have been. But I feel like the little industry or um, genre that you cater to, I want to say since the last time that you were doing this, the numbers for that genre of, of, of videos or content has gone up since then. I feel like it's been more popularized. Like this cleaning thing or this home economic... I don't know. I don't know what it is you're doing. Your yoga thing or whatever. I feel like you bring more personality to it than other people do. I feel like because you're just naturally you. Especially like if you're more natural and you are like a smoker and things like that. Because you see all of these type of people that they're into like... Yoga and all of that stuff. I don't even know what to call it. Whatever. Chakra. Reiki. Whatever. Whatever. You don't really see him having a Bob Marley music in the back. You know, Sage or, or, or Palo Santo burning. They be making a salad in the beginning. Smoking a little weed. Getting their mind together before they go on into their meditation. Teaching people how to eat right. Keeping good smells in your house. Keeping your house clean. You just giving them the whole motherfucking vibe. Okay? Why? And I feel like you giving them the tab of the brown with the good vegan cooking and everything. And your titties just be looking all supple. Your skin be looking all oily and, 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 and shining and glossy and golden. I be feeling like you be doing a good facial regimen. Why I feel like you do all of that. Anything that has to do with the house, home, self-love, balance, and... Baby, you the shit. Like, what's your page, honey? What is your page? And don't and don't fuck around. And the bitch might goddamn do a damn sheen and tea tea haul on your motherfucking ass and, and and show you how to be sexy and affordable while she at it. Okay, she's trying to protect your finances. She's trying to protect your finances. Okay, and show you where to get you some good green at too. Okay, bitch, I'm reloaded. Group number four, I like you. I like you. You sound like a good time. And you can make a mean ass carrot, uh, carrot juice. Bitch, I like you. The fuck you talking about? Use your skills to create. You know what? I'm oh, yeah, I done broke everything. I done, I done broke everything. Y'all, I'm breaking shit. You see what being too excited gets you? See what happened? Damn. You know what? It's okay. It's all right. I am read all that. Okay, I am back. Okay, bitch. I'm clear up. Okay, use your creativity. You know, to get you some money, honey. Be you on a goddamn. Okay, be Juju wanna be. Uh, Juju wanna be. Uh, Juju wanna be. Okay, for all y'all DJs too. Get your ass on TikTok. Oh, Juju on a beat. Oh, Juju on a beat. Uh-uh, Juju. Oh, Juju. Oh, Juju on a beat. Juju on a beat, girl. Okay, it's your world. I feel like everything that makes you, you and makes you happy and uniquely divine, because you know you fine. Okay. Bitch, I'm reloaded. Get your motherfucking ass online and do that shit. I don't care what it did last time when you tried to do it. Dust yourself off and try to do that shit again. Use your creative skills to get you some coins. Because I feel like I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit. You, you're, you're fucking talented. Like, you're actually really talented and good. I just feel like it was the wrong time. It was the wrong time last time. And you can do all of this shit from the safety and privacy of your own home. I, I love this. I love this. What do you got? You got the king of diamonds. Cha-ching! Hello! Hello? Well, I feel like you guys might get like a solid investor. You guys, I'm trying... Especially for my ladies, 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 ladies. Especially if you be getting into like some home gardening and 
cooking and all of this type of stuff. There's a lot of men, especially if you're very attractive and stuff. Listen, especially if you're a big, thick. Why I'm seeing me a BBW? Come on, with some big old titties. Okay, girl with that glossy skin. Listen, I'm trying. I'm trying to tell you. Y'all look like stay-at-home goddesses. Like what men can only dream that they can come home to every day. Y'all have fans of men that are just good future husbands that are looking for a good wife. Like they don't even want their wife to. They want their wife to do exactly what you're doing. Find some type of way to make some money at home. And she got her own like and, and low key her little online shop or whatever the hell it is make more money. Damn, he, she make just as much money as he do. But this man is going to invest in you. I feel like you're going to have a solid investor, especially like if you need like a new light, new camera, new anything. Like I think these people just like watching you naturally be you and want to see you grow. They want to see you still the show, baby. We got the Queen of Swords and then the Temperance. Okay, the Queen of Swords in the reverse and the Temperance. I don't know if it was in the reverse in the beginning or not, but I'm just going to take it where it is. Continue to speak blessings on yourself. Don't doubt yourself. Don't speak down on yourself. Don't listen to anybody speaking any negativity on what it is that you want to do. Only speak positivity and positive thoughts over yourself. Keep yourself balanced. Um... Sometimes you 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 forget that you need to still dream and believe in the impossible because you're so grounded on this world. With that temperance, you got to have a good measure of both, okay? A good measure of both and keep your mind sharp as a whistle, okay? And your thoughts as clear as pure as water, okay? Don't tell yourself that you're going to fail because of what happened last time. Don't believe that shit. The more and more that you speak that shit over yourself, the more it's going to happen to you. So I need you to sit up straight. I need you to assert yourself. And I need you to be about this business, baby. Dust yourself off. Use your skills to create. Okay? The artist says... Creative endeavors can help improve your cash flow. Photography, design, music, acting, art, anything in the creative field. Seek out things that inspire you and help you to boost your creativity. I, while I'm hearing housekeeping, like home, I, that's all I keep hearing, like home things. And then this says home. Invest in a home business or making money from home. Housewife, babysitter, cooking, or anything that's a home-based business. Get out of the rat rates. Become your own boss, applesauce. All right? So, you guys, this has been your reading. I hope you guys have enjoyed this Money Manifesting Monday. Pick a card reading. I will see you guys next week. I'm about to record a tea reading. <laughs> Bitch, we about to get messy.